Hey everyone, welcome to another studio vlog. This is our small business diaries. First I want to say, I hope you're doing okay. And if you're not, that's okay too. I'm writing out our 2022 year in review for Etsy. And then I'm also sharing my 2023 goals for Shopify and Etsy. We will be growing our apparel and stationary products on Shopify this year. I did something a little different and planned a product launch for February 1. We will be launching our custom notebooks, which I hand make myself, as well as these new crewnecks. The messy depressy one I have in hoodie version and I live in it, the stethoscopes for our healthcare providers, MBTI personality types, I'm an INTJ, INFJ if you're curious, and these self-care quotes which are very close to my heart. I hope you like them and please let me know what you think. I did get a message about why shipping costs $4 for stickers and I do use first class parcel mail which is like a package service so you get USPS tracking. Last year I was using Etsy's tracking with Pitney Bowes and it was very unreliable. I received a lot of messages from customers saying they never got their order, even though the tracking system said it was delivered. I had to reship all of those orders um, at my cost. So I stopped using that and I just use USPS now. It does cost four to five dollars for shipping, but I kept my shipping rates at four dollars for my customers. When I'm prepping orders, I like to write down everything that I need so that I can print and cut everything at once and then I can wrap everything at once. I do like to do them in batches because I try to record packing orders for my customers. I think they appreciate it. I'm not really sure if they see it, but uh, it's something that I like to do anyway. I try to keep my nails polished for when I do packing videos and I use this growth serum to kind of help my nails grow and protect them from cracking.
I have an Epson EcoTank 2760 and for some reason when I use a specific kind of paper like this is my clear matte sticker paper the ink gets all over the edges of the paper. I think it may have something to do with the weight because it is really light and bendy but so that I don't get this on my cutting mat, I just cut the corners off and make sure that I align it properly on the mat. This is the hoodie that I've been living in, and it's very, very true, actually. I made crewnecks available on the update. I know a lot of people don't like hoodies, so crewnecks will be there. I did get a message a few times about people not being able to pull the stickers off of the clear matte sheets. They're a little finicky, so I do test them, just one of the stickers on the corner whenever I cut them.
For our new notebooks, I was cutting the sheets myself. So they are two 5x7 sheets and I found a stockist who uses the same type of paper that I use. I'm very picky with my paper and they sell them in the size that I need. So I think I will be buying from them moving forward instead of cutting my own sheets. It is cheaper if I buy the 8.5 by 11 sheets and then cut them myself. But it does take a really long time to cut. It takes about 30, maybe 40 minutes to cut 50 pages. tell you a little bit more about our notebooks, they will have 50 front and back pages. You choose what type of lines you want. There will be an option for blank, lined, dot grid, or grid. I do print them individually, front and back. It does take a long time, so if you're thinking of making notebooks, just keep in mind if you're printing them yourself. A laser printer would be ideal. Mine doesn't work that well, so I use the Epson. And it does take six hours to print 50 pages front and back. I don't calculate that into the cost because it is my choice to choose to print it that way. And, you know, that's on me. I like how it looks. I'm really happy with it and so far my customers are really happy with it so it's going to stay that way for a while until i figure out something faster
so this is the supplier I was talking about that stocks my kind of paper. If you're interested, I'll have it listed in my small business products list on my website. And the paper is really good. It's 32 pound, 100 brightness, I think. And it is really good quality paper. I don't use regular copy paper, even for regular printer paper. I always use the same kind and it confuses people because when I hand it to them they think there are multiple sheets of paper and they try to peel it apart but I have to tell them it's just one piece of paper which tells you it's really good paper so I use this for the notebooks and the journals that I will be creating for our February launch These little folders are made out of cardstock with double stick tape. I use the scoring board to score the lines and then stick them on the back cover to hold any loose paper or die cut stickers. It's very simple, but also very handy. These journals and notebooks will be live on February 1 at our shop update. I hope you guys like everything I've shown you so far and I hope to see you on February 1. If you do order something or if you if you just want to say hi, say hi to me anywhere here, social media, wherever you like. I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead of you and here are the final notebooks. And then I have some puppy cam footage for those of you who know my little puppies, Marty, Emmett, and Dory. Take care, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! For those of you who are still here, this is Dory, our brand new little addition to our family. Well, he's not brand new anymore, but we got him, I think, in July. Um, he is a cardigan Welsh corgi and he is a fluffy brindle color. He's very hairy, very loud, very long, but also very short. Marty is our sable. He is a Pembroke Welsh corgi and so is Emmett. Emmett is a tri bluey, so that means he has three colors and he's not black he's actually this bluish gray color so you can really see it when he's in the light but in the dark he just looks like it's black